Hey guys, Just Bricks here with a, another video for you. Um, I'm going to be doing a video that's a little bit different. Um, as you can see, I'm kind of in the middle of like five different things right now. Um, over in these advent calendar trays, I have two copies of, the, or three copies, I don't remember exactly how many copies, I think it was just two of the Stone Fire, Firestone Mech. Uh, set and there's quite a few lots in that set Excuse the mess. It's it's been crazy. I, I just got home from the hospital with our newborn today and My wife is downstairs trying to keep her Happy and get some rest at the same time. I just reopened the store um, We'll try it out for a couple days. See how it works um, Once I go back to my day job, I might have to close the store for a while just try and get things done but anyway I've got two copies of 71720 the Firestone mech and I've been adding the parts to my store uh, you'll probably see that in a different video if I ever get it edited <laughs> but um, I've gotten all these drawers labeled now and I've started adding the parts I've been using um, brick stock I know I should be switching to brick store I just haven't downloaded it yet but uh, I've started putting dividers in the drawers. I haven't done that too much yet, partially because if you look on the back, the back there, you can still see the dividers back in there that are still attached to the back of these drawers. So I haven't gotten too many of them out to use, but I have been making my own. Um, here recently, I found a lot of these dots bracelets and wristbands on clearance at a uh, Michael's I just picked up like $50 more in clearance things I paid two dollars each for these but inside there you can kind of see it behind the, the wristband part there's a piece of cardboard and I realized that that cardboard is almost ah here's one that I didn't cut that cardboard is pretty much the perfect height to fit in the um, the drawers as dividers so I think you can get three or four, I think it's just three dividers out of each one of these. So I just cut it three times and I think it's just three cuts I have to make. And I can get those dividers made out of those pieces and you'll get something that looks kind of like that. And you can see that in this drawer here. I've got a couple drawers with different divider ideas that I've come up with. So you can see in there, I think this is the right, no, that's not it. It's this one. This divider here, it's got the dark back, the white front. Fits right in there pretty tightly. A little bit of wiggle, but not not bad at all. And pretty good, um, pretty good idea there for the divider. And it's using something that I didn't have to pay for specifically, so it, it's a cheap divider option. Um, I also, the other day while I was at Michael's, I picked up a sheet of this giant thick cardboard. It's, it's pretty thick stuff. Heavy duty. Uh, I believe this was $7.99 for the sheet. So not as cheap for sure, but it, if, if my math is correct, I think you can do 336 because you can get 12 dividers across this way and I think 28 rows. Somebody in the comments can tell me if my math was right or it's, it's something like that. 12, 12 and I think it was 28 or 29 counting the one row I already had. And so um, when you cut those up, they look something like that. And in the drawer, they look just like that. Here's the baby, I can hear her. But they're a little looser than the other ones, but they're also heavier and so, and, and more sturdy. So they feel very solid, like they're not gonna go anywhere. And I think if I cut it a little bit wider, it would fit in there tighter. Let's see, I think this one's a little wider. Yeah, that one fits in there a little tighter, less wiggle to it. Now, another option, is I cut up a Lego box. I used a knife for the top, so it's not the smoothest cut, but it's a 
fairly similar to the other two cardboard ones where it's got a little wiggle to it, but it's not going to fall out. I mean, you can shake it upside down. It's not coming out. Um, this one probably would come out. And there's the baby. Welcome to my world. <laughs> All right, and then the last option I'm going to show tonight is I went to the Dollar Tree. I know um, Doug over at Dotu Bricks has been talking about using these things, chopping mats. They're plastic uh, cutting board type things. And hold up, let me shut the door. Hey, poor baby. Hey, little girl. Yes, it will be all right. It will be all right. Okay, I'm back. So, um, I know Doug over there at Doe 2 Bricks has talked about using these for dividers. Um, just cutting them and seeing how they work. So I thought I'd give it a try. I was at the Dollar Tree this afternoon, or evening. And so I picked it up. There's two in a pack. They're pretty thin, but I thought I might as well give it a shot. And this is what I came up with. I didn't do the math to see how many of these you can get per thing. They're very thin. And I think if you're doing bigger pieces like plates or, um, or uh, bricks, like say you were doing these one by four plates or the two by three plates or those one by three bricks, I think those would be good lots to put in something like this because then you're not, you don't have to worry about it sliding and the pieces getting underneath of it. But as it is, these aren't, definitely wouldn't be my first option. Um, I think the boxes, the Lego boxes, they work pretty good. And like I was saying earlier, they, uh, it's, it's something that you're not paying extra for, which is good. Um, definitely the, um, I don't see any more of these guys, the wristband bracelet, um, backers, those work really well for being free and just a couple cuts and you've got it made. Um, so I'd say that that's one of the best free options is that, but the, um, I'm going to go with the heavy duty cardboard I mean it's $7.99 for that sheet and then like I said you can make something like 300 out of it which is really cheap let me do the math on that real quick oh, there's my math right there on um, the number of dividers you can make out of that sheet I think this might be a little bit off because I don't think I actually included the first row the my test row to see how many I could get out of there um, I've made these an inch and a quarter tall, so they don't go all the way up in the bin. I want to make sure that it clears that, um, the little piece there that holds the drawer in when you pull it out. I want to make sure it would clear that. Um, so it's 336 dividers, and then we'll do 7.99. Here I have 6% sales tax, so... 847, 847 divided by 336, two and a half cents per divider. So pretty good um, price for the dividers. And then the only other cost is a little bit of time. So definitely would be my go-to option. And like I said, I got that from Michael's. I don't know what it's called, um, but it works pretty good. Oh, and just a little thing to throw in at the end of the video here. I picked this up in a BrickLink order the other day. It's not showing up too well. But I got this from a store just because I think this was uh, Scala, Scala. I'm not sure how you're supposed to pronounce that. I picked it up just because it was a couple colors I didn't actually have any parts in. Like the, the colors, I didn't have any parts those colors. Um, I also didn't have anything in Scala. I think it's Scala. And these colors, I think this is light salmon and salmon. And then very light gray. And 
just thought they were kind of cool. Picked them up for my, not really for my color chart. I, I mean, I kind of got them just because I hadn't seen the colors, wanted to see what they were. Um, and I was already placing an order in their store for a little thing here. That, that brick, the odd shaped one there, that is light green. And I picked up that one. And they also had a uh, same piece with two different designs printed on it to make a parrot. I'll show that one when I find it again. Um, but yeah, my wife and I have the little thing where we take and hide a Lego parrot. And then we had one that was red and blue. And we found out that it came in lime, as, not lime, light, light green. And so I picked up one that color as well. And so I got that. And also... Um, this piece here is medium lime, and I think that's all the colors that were new. I might have just added these on there in the pearl dark gray. I don't know if I just added those, a metallic silver, um, then a speckle black and silver, and glittered trans clear. So it's an update on the color chart. And I think that's going to wrap up this video. So until next time, thanks for watching and y'all have a good one.